Hey there, welcome to the show. This is uh, uh, what sold on eBay for uh, January, the first week of January 2020, and uh, it's about time I got started on these. So, yes, and here it is. This is the first thing that sold was these these six knives, little steak knives. Uh, I'm guessing they're from probably the 70s, maybe early 80s, something somewhere, somewhere in there. And I paid four dollars and seventy-four cents for the lot. I listed them December 29th, sold them January 1st, and I took fourteen dollars, took a fourteen-dollar best offer, uh, plus shipping on those. So, okay, next. And this is a calculator I've had sitting around for a while. Uh, I paid ten cents for it. I listed it September 23rd, 2018, so it's been listed over a year. It sold January 1st, and I got fifteen dollars for it, free shipping. Uh, it went, excuse me, first class. So, okay, next. A VHS tape. Got this at Goodwill for 49 cents, and I listed it December 14th, sold it January 1st, and I got, I got five bucks. Five bucks plus shipping on that tape, so. I originally bought them, I was going to put them in a, in a big lot and sell them all in a big lot, but I didn't. I broke it down and sold most of them individually. Okay, next. Uh, electricity. I also got this. Got this at Goodwill. Um, Delmar standard textbook of electricity, and I paid a dollar ninety nine for it. I listed it December 9th, Sold it uh, January second. And I'll be honest with you, I don't uh, usually expect to find these kind of books at, at Goodwill anymore. Textbooks don't typically. Um, make it to the shelves for whatever reason I, I don't know why but anyway so uh, i did i sold this for 93 dollars and 23 cents plus shipping and uh, they they actually paid media mail but i actually shipped it and uh priority i actually sent it in a uh what do you call it um a regional a box because i wanted the insurance and i wanted the uh faster shipping on the on on that i didn't want to send it media mail i've had some issues over the last couple of months with some items getting lost uh shipping media mail they they just don't give a and well they just they something happens so i've lost a couple of vhs tapes and it's been irritating so uh yeah so and there's nothing nothing you can do if it doesn't get delivered you don't get insurance there isn't any insurance on media and you just have to you just have to give the people their money back that's it you just you just just out so um but it, you know for all the stuff that i ship me the email it doesn't happen very often but enough so okay enough that i didn't want it to happen to this so all right next uh, understanding pharmacology this i also bought the same day at goodwill and i paid a dollar 29 for this it was a soft cover and uh let's see i listed it december 26th and i sold it january 2nd for $34. So I got $34 plus shipping on that one. Next. Head of the Family VHS tape. This one I paid 49 cents for. I listed it uh, December 14th. Sold it Sold it January 3rd. And I took $9.50. $9.50 is actually what it sold for. And uh, that was plus shipping. So Next. Carrier Strike. There's one, two of these items. Um, the Let's see. The first one that actually sold was the instructions. And the second part that sold was the dice out of, the, out of this. And it's the only things I, I've sold out of this Carrier Strike game were the instructions and the dice. I haven't sold any of the other parts yet. A lot of the parts were... I, I, I probably could have sold it. It's big. The game is big, so that's one thing. The shipping is outrageous if you try to sell the whole game. You can't get a lot for the whole game. Um, the box was in horrendous condition, so uh, I just decided to break it down. There, Some of the airplanes in it were, were, were damaged. The, all of the carriers, all of the ships, were all, all of them were broken. The towers, the conning towers were broken off. And glued back together, or or and stuff. They they were just in really bad shape, so I didn't list those. So I just listed the cards, the airplanes that were left, 
uh, some discs and stuff like that. So these are the only things. I paid a buck for the game. And, uh, and, uh, so let's see, there's one, uh, I don't know how many parts there was. I didn't break this down properly. I'm going to say there's one available. So, has to be more than one available. What, how's that work? Well, anyway, I, I listed it November 1st. I sold these pieces January 3rd. Uh, the one was $5, the other was $2, and that was plus shipping, so I didn't make a killing on it, but, um, I've had this game sitting around for a while. For all I know, it could be the one I had as a kid. I'm not, I'm not sure. It might have actually been mine. Um, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, which would explain the condition of the box. Anyway, uh, I, yeah, I was a little rough on stuff. Okay, next. Next. It's a Cutco uh, carving fork. You may have seen it in a... Um, maybe the last haul video I did. I don't do very many of those anymore. Um, not planning on doing too many of those. Unless something cool comes up. But anyway, yeah. Uh, uh, I picked this up. I have that I didn't pay anything for this i believe i got it in a a lot a bag lot of stuff and the other stuff was the stuff that i got so to sell so this i don't really count as costing me anything so um so anyway yeah i listed it uh december 30th i sold it january 3rd and i took 550 for it they really aren't selling that well so i just grabbed it because it was cutco and i have a thing for cutco and uh but they just really aren't aren't uh aren't selling very well had i known that i may have even have left it sit but you never know so anyway five bucks plus shipping so i did all right 550 550 plus shipping i did all right i'm okay with that next i guess rams football this is a shirt i picked up i don't know when a while back paid 50 cents for it um probably a goodwill uh, on a clearance day and anyway yeah yeah so I listed it September 12th, sold it January 3rd. I got $15 plus shipping, and uh, it took me forever to find it. I, I, thought, I had it in with, my, in with my other clothes, but somewhere along the line I sold something, and I when I picked it up, the other thing that I sold, I accidentally picked this up as well, took it downstairs, and so this was actually downstairs uh in my shipping area and i'd forgotten about it so i <laughs> went through everything two or three times looking for it and then finally um i realized where it was at so uh that was that so okay next these uh yarn i i had them around for a while i i not a big fan of selling yarn um but you know you never know i paid a buck for i paid a buck for the lot and i listed it uh march March sixteenth, two thousand eighteen. Uh, I was, I, I was priced kind of high on it. It's it's vintage, not that easy to find, an odd color, but just the same. It took a while for it to sell, so it did sell January fourth. I took twelve dollars. It was free shipping. It actually they were light enough, if I remember correctly. They actually were light enough that I could put them in a bag and I shipped them. Uh, I shipped them for first class. I'm pretty sure. Um, otherwise, it didn't really work out too great. But I, I don't I don't mess with yarn anymore, except I take it to the shop if I get it. But I don't really buy it. So not that the you know I don't yeah I hate to say that. But all right, okay. So next is these McCoy uh, coffee mugs. There was a set of six. I actually had two sets of these, and. Uh, I listed them, let's see, I paid four bucks for the lot. I listed them July 20th, sold the first set on January 5th, and the other set was next, I think, next next, next week, I think. Anyway, um, yeah, so they sat for a while and then they sold. I think it was because I was priced too high. Um, honestly, I think a lot of people were selling them really cheap, and I didn't want to sell them so cheap. So, uh, I listed them January, or sold them January 5th. I got $30 for the lot plus shipping. 
and uh, a lot of people were doing free shipping. And I just I'm I'm not willing to do that just because it costs so much to ship to ship out west for me. So I, I just I can't. I just can't. So next. Don't get me wrong. I love it when I go to buy something that has free shipping. Don't get me wrong. But um. But I usually check just make sure that you know price plus shipping is sometimes it's cheaper than the free shipping items. I picked this car up at the thrift store, my neighbor's closet, and let's see. I paid. No wait. Maybe I didn't. What do I have on it? I have. I have that I didn't pay anything for that. So I, I got it free, so I couldn't have got it in my neighbor's closet. I think I may have picked it up. Oh, I know where it was. I got it at the niche, and I had a bag lot of other stuff. And she just told me, just she just she just gave it to me to to go with. So um, they do that. The the sometimes they'll do that with different things, and I usually end up putting my change in. They have a little container for the for the cat, so I usually put my container for the, my change in for the cat anyway. So I really probably did pay for it if you count the the giving. So just a container that helps pay for uh, you know his vet needs and stuff like that so yeah so anyway I, li I listed this december 29th sold it january 5th i got 10.99 plus shipping on that little thing so that was cool all right next visions wear roaster roaster i wonder if i have another one of these around i should relist it if i have one i, I should i should dig i should find it anyway i paid five bucks for this big old roaster Listed it September 8th, sold it January 5th, and I, I got $20 plus shipping on that. So just, I, I think I had it at the shop and I just couldn't get, I couldn't, I couldn't get a price for it. I couldn't get anything for it. So I just put it online. I guess, well, I'm not going to say, but it's not as popular as it used to be apparently. So next. And let's see, I sold one of these, one of these, which one did I sell? I sold, I sold, it doesn't say. Nope, you just choose your letter. So they, they bought one. I paid a quarter. Um, not really, probably less than that, but I put on here that I paid a quarter. Listed these July 3rd last year. Sold this, the sold whichever one it was that sold um, on January 5th for $5.99 uh, plus shipping. They, so, yeah, so that was cool. Okay, next. I don't sell a lot of those. When I first listed them, I sold a bunch, and then it's been pretty lean ever since. So, okay, next. I did notice I hadn't been selling anything, like, all through January on TrueGether. Like, I didn't sell nothing. I sold something January 1st or something, and then didn't sell anything else ever again. And I haven't been selling it all through February, and I just went and checked, and it's, yeah, because for some reason, I have no, I had no listings for sale on there. Something must have happened, so... I don't know, but I didn't have any listings on there, so. Alright, next. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll get better. Next. Next. There it is. Lincoln Logs. Ten roof trusses. And I paid 33 cents for these. Listed October 24th, sold January 6th. I got $15. Uh, took a best offer on the auction, $15 bucks, uh, plus shipping, and and that, and that it was good. So they are gone. Um, I, I did really well with those Lincoln Logs, so that was a good deal. So next, Chi Chi's. These actually sold to a guy uh, who works on the set of Young Sheldon. Pretty cool, huh? I don't think they went to be used in in Young Sheldon. Maybe I don't. I don't. What's the time frame on that? Is that supposed to be the eighties? Because these are apparently from the eighties. Maybe maybe they had a Chi Chi's on Young Sheldon. I don't watch Young Sheldon except for clips on YouTube. Um, uh, yeah. So I have that. I didn't pay anything for these. I don't know where they came from. Not a clue now. And uh, I sold them. Let's see. I listed them originally April eighth. 2018 sold these uh, January 6th 
for for 1995 plus shipping so and it's a good thing it was plus shipping because they did go to california and that i would have lost i would just would have lost so okay next and last i think is yes this is a set of uh these these Libby Gold Leaf glasses. I used to work. If some of you've been watching me long enough, you you, you saw my early videos. Um, from when I worked, I worked in a security shack, uh, a little shed, where trucks come up and you sign the people in and all that stuff like that. And I used to I used to do my eBay listings while I was sitting there, uh, with nothing else to do, waiting for people to come through. So this is actually these pictures were taken were taken that long ago it, that's been a long time ago now so these have been up for a while all right and, and there was only four of them the picture shows five and up but there was only four and i did make sure that the person was aware of that just in case because i did have five but i broke one so uh, that was that so anyway i paid three dollars and twenty cents i listed them well this must have been a relist because i listed it says january 7th 2020 but it's not january 7 2020 it's more like 2016 probably i'm gonna i'm gonna change that to 2016 because that's most likely when they actually got listed uh and I, let's see i don't think i actually i think i just put that in there because i didn't actually have those in my um my spreadsheet for when i listed them because i wasn't doing that back then so all right, so these sold on January 6th for $20. I didn't sell anything on the 7th, so that was that. This is the last thing. I got 20 bucks plus shipping on these. And so for everything that I sold, I paid $25.38. And my, let's see, none of this stuff got returned, right? Nothing here got returned or not paid for or anything. Nope, and yeah, so it's all good, so... Uh, my gross sales for three hundred, three hundred thirty-two dollars and fourteen cents. So that's that for this week. Thanks for watching. I hope uh, I hope it was enjoyable, entertaining, something, anything. Um, if not, well, sorry, apologize, my bad. Um, yeah, gonna go because I'm gonna do another one. So right, right, like right now. So see ya.